Hello! Good day to all of you. Our topic for the discussion today is all about function and relation. First of all, we need to define what is the meaning of function and relation. Function is a relationship between two sets of variables, x and y, such that each value of set x or the domain is associated with exactly with exactly one value of set of uh, set y which is what we call range a function may be re represented numerically algebraically or graphically while relation is a correspondence between two sets called the dominant range such that to each element of the domain there is assigned one or more again one or more elements of the range so the only difference is function there, there should be exactly one while relation there can be one or more elements let us try this example example number one using the listing method which of the following sets of ordered pairs are functions so letter a set of a there are ordered pairs one and two two and three three and four and Four and five. So we are going to list down all the domain and range. But our main concern here is only the domain or the first element. So the domain R or the X, they are 1, 2, 3, and 4 or the first element. As you can see, there is only one domain. There is no repeated domain. So, example letter A is a function. Example letter B, set of B. There are ordered pairs 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, and 4 and 4. We are going to list down the domain. So, the domains are... 1, 2, 3, and 4. There is no repeated domain. So, example letter B is a function. So, in short, pwede rin natin siyang tignan lang. We can just simply look at the domain to tell if, uh, to determine if it is a function or not. Just simply look at the domain. There should be no repeated domain. And example letter C, set of C, the uh, ordered pairs are 1 and 0. 0 and 1, negative 1 and 0, 0 and negative 1. As you can see, uh, let us look at the first element or the domain only. So, they are 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. So, there is a repeated domain which is the 0 and 0. So, in this example, letter C, it is not a function. Based on the definition, there should be only exactly one uh, value of the domain. Let us proceed. Example number two, true mapping or pairing method. Determine whether each of the following is a function or relation. So exa in example number one, we have this illustration. And then in example number two, we have this illustration. How can we say if it is a function or relation using mapping or pairing method? The technique is very simple. Just simply look at the domain. So the arrow coming from the domain should be exactly one. Again, the arrow coming from a domain or the value of the domain should be exactly one only. It should not be two or more. Be, uh, because if it is two or more, that is not a function. In example number one, as you can see, A go, uh, going to two, B going to three, C going to three, then D going to one. The, so the arrow coming from the domain, which is uh, the A, B, C, and D, they are all, uh, exactly one only once. So that is a, a example number one, that is a function. Again, to, to say that if, if it is a function, the arrow coming from a domain should be exactly once only. For example, number two, as you can see, uh, the arrow coming from negative one 
it is going to uh, negative 1 going to 2 and negative 1 going to 0. So there are 2. The same as 0. 0 going to 1 and 0 going to negative 2. So obviously, example number 2 is not a function. So, through, uh, using the mapping and pairing method to determine if it is a function or not function, just simply look at the arrow coming from the domain. Again, it should be exactly once only. If it is twice or more, it is not a function. Let us move on. Example number three. Example number three, using the vertical line test. This is the easiest way to determine if, it is, if the graph is a function or not function. So, we are asked to identify which of the given graphs represent a function. In example number one, this is an example of a parabola opening upward. So, using the vertical line test, the technique is just simply put a vertical line test. So, um, uh, to be a function, for, uh, for a graph to be a function, it should pass the graph only once. Again, if you are going to put vertical line in our graph, anywhere in our graph, it should pass the graph only once. If it passes the graph twice or more, it is not a function. Let us try. If I'm going to put a vertical line here, how many times it passes the graph? One. Okay, correct. In this portion only. How about if I put vertical line here? How many times? It passes the graph. Very good. Again, one. So everywhere, if I put vertical line it, everywhere in our graph, it will pass the graph only once. So example number one, this is a function. How about example number two? Let us try to put a vertical line here. As you can see, if I put vertical line here, it passes the graph how many times? Two. Very good. It passes here and here. So, obviously, uh, our graph in number two is not a function. Why? Because it passes the graph twice. Again, in using vertical line test, it should pass the graph only once for, for the graph to be a function. Let's move on. Example number three. This is an example of circle. What do you think? Obviously, this is not a function. This is not a function because if you put vertical line here, how many times it will pass the graph? It will pass twice. How about example number four? What do you think? Is it a function or not function? Very good. That is a function. Because it will pass the graph only once. How about um, example number five? What do you think? Is it a function or not function? So if we put vertical line here, obviously it will pass the graph how many times? Thrice. Here, here. And here, so obviously, number 5 is not a function. How about number 6? Number 6 is a tricky illustration. What do you think? Is it a function or not function? So let us try to put vertical line. If we put vertical line here, how many times it passes the graph? It passes so many times because... Remember, line is consisting of points. So, it passes the line or it passes the graph so many times. So, um, number six, obviously, this is not a function. Okay? So, as easy as that, using the vertical line test. Let's have a recap. Function, again, what is a Function. Function is a relationship between two sets of variables, x and y, such that each value of x or the domain is associated with exactly one value of set y, which is what we call range. A function may be represented numerically, algebraically, or 
graphically. While relation is a correspondence between two sets called the dominant range such that to each element of the domain there is assigned one or more elements of the range. So function, there should be exactly one value. Relation, there, sh there, there should be one or more. So there are three ways to determine if a given relation is a function or not function. Number one, listing method just simply list down all the domain there should be no repeated domain or just simply look at the first element of the ordered pairs there should be no repeated value if uh, then if there is no repeated value that is a function if there is a repeated value that is not function so for mapping or pairing method what are we going to do is just simply look at the domain so the arrow coming from the domain should be exactly once only Again, the arrow coming from the domain should be exactly once only, going to range. So, if it is only once, it is a function. But if it is two or more, that is not a function. And then the last one, the vertical line test. So, in uh, the vertical line test, just simply put vertical line anywhere in the graph. It should passes. It should pass the graph only one once. If it passes the graph once, it is a function. But if it passes the graph twice or more it is not a function always remember that that's all for our lesson for today thank you have a nice day